This cooking and nutrition segment brought to you by Save on Foods. You know, BJ, the liver is really amazing. It's great for digesting food, it helps eliminate toxins. It's really the unsung hero of the organs. Absolutely, Michelle. That's why this week on the show, Chef Andrea Potter of Rooted Nutrition is here to help us give back to our gut's best friend with a recipe that is loaded with liver-friendly foods. Then registered dietitian Melissa LeBlanc joins me to get into the juicy details of how we can support our livers with our diets. Let's get started. A salad is one of the first things that comes to mind when we're thinking of healthy food. And a salad is exactly what we'll be making today with chef and holistic nutritionist, Andrea Potter. Andrea, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So what kind of salad are we making today? Um, this is a special salad. It's a, I call it a love your liver salad. Okay. Um, every element in here has uh, liver strengthening properties, and liver cleansing properties. Um, I'm just gonna grate a little bit of garlic and I'll have you juice some lemon as well. Sure. This is a blend of flax oil and extra virgin olive oil. So really good quality oils are important in healthy cooking. If I wanted to make it extra lemony, then I could put some of the zest into it too. Right. So I'm gonna grate some garlic into here. Um, I just keep the peel on the garlic and then use the zester to make a nice garlic paste. Great, so could you put the lid on that and then just give it a good shake for us? Okay, shake the dressing. Okay, next step. We're gonna add our other ingredients. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, grated carrots and grated beets. They're both raw. Would you like to add the beets? Sure. All of them? Yes, please. Okay, carrots and beets, all in. And then we've got two other ingredients here that I'm going to chop. Uh, this is a Granny Smith apple. And green apples are really important for liver cleansing. And then this vegetable here, have you ever seen this vegetable before? I've never seen this vegetable before. <laughs> It's a radish. Um, this is a surprising looking radish. Usually you see the little ones. That's a radish? Multicolor. Yeah, so this is called a watermelon radish. Okay. And I'm most excited about it because... Well, I learned something new today for sure. Because it's a spring food. Okay. Um, I'm keeping the peel on. It's just a little bit greenish on the outside. And then if, when you cut it in half, it looks mm -hmm. like that. Okay. So you see why it's called a watermelon radish. Yeah. It's pretty cute. So I'm going to... You can either grate or slice these in as well. Mm -hmm. And because these ones do look like little watermelons, I'm gonna cut them into triangles like watermelons. Okay. Just to give them the proper feel. That's right. Isn't that watermelons. adorable? Yeah. Even kids like these ones. Great, so simply add the dressing to the salad. I'll toss it. And the, the beauty of this recipe mm -hmm. is that it lasts in the fridge for up to a week. All right, dig in. Okay. Wow, really good. Mm. Love it. It's already hugging my liver. I can feel it. It is. <laughs> Love your liver salad. You can find out more about the recipe in the Vancouver Sun or on vancouversun.com slash empoweredhealth. Andrea, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Thanks. <laughs> 